Hey guys, welcome to another video for the POCO X3 Pro, also known as the YU and Bhima. Now today in store we have a very very special ROM known as the Ancient OS version 5.6 but this right here is the Weave edition and it is official. This has been updated on the 27th of September. I have it installed since the last one to two days and uh, there is a gaming review coming on this as well but before we get into the initial impressions of this wonderful rom if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? Ancient OS version 5.6 Weeb Edition. Now, I really don't know what Weeb Edition means, but I think this is uh, more compatible or more favorable towards games from Tencent and, Tencent and stuff like that. Now, that is what I've read on Telegram. And this is updated on the 27th of September 2021. Now, in device change log, it says initial stable build with new trees. Notes, clean flash is required. SE Linux status is enforcing. Safety net passes out of the box. Ships with G apps. Suggested firmware 12.5.2 global and you do have the change log and the screenshots and all the other things and you have a discussion going on here as well. Now the reason this really is special is because of the amount of customization it has. So first of all, let's actually go to settings here. Let's go to about phone. You will see that the look of this particular ROM's customization is really, really different. You can really go ahead and customize a lot of things. So you have this about info section over here, hardware info, firmware info. If you go to firmware info, you have all these things and you do see that some things are in Chinese. Now, I really don't know why things are in Chinese over here, but that's fine. That's a discussion for another day. Right, so let's dive into it right away. Now, Ancient OS, the moment you boot on the home screen, you will see that it comes with very, very few applications. That is always the right step to move towards when you're talking about giving a custom ROM, which will give you great performance. As far as the camera app is concerned, you do see over here that I don't really have a camera application installed. So you would have to go ahead and install Gcam or something like that. On the home screen, you don't really have a lot of things going on your standard Google wallpaper. You do have ancient home options in which you do have a ton of customization options. You can actually pause the video and have a look at all these options over here. In the launcher itself, you have a lot of customization. So then you have your icons where you can customize the icon packs and stuff. And you do have miscellaneous as well in which you can make some changes. Now it is automatically going to the home screen. I really don't know why that is happening, but in my usage, I've not really had any major issues with ancient OS. Now you will see that the status bar over here looks slightly different. It is a dual status bar, which is included in this ROM. And to me, I enabled it and uh, yeah, it gives me more information than the single status bar and looks different as well. Nonetheless, if you long press again, you have widgets, right? So your usual Android 11 and some Android 12 widgets as well, as you can see. So that's something really, really neat. And you have styles and wallpapers in which you can go ahead and customize a lot of things. Good to see that this styles and wallpapers does give you a lot of customization option. To the left, you do have Google feed for which you will have to install the Google app. Not the extremely smoothest one, but it is really, really smooth. If you're coming from MIUI, you will not notice any lags or jitters. And remember, if it stutters for a bit, it might be because it's updating because at least on custom ROMs, this Google feed for me has not been lagging at all. Now we come to the interesting part of quick tiles. Now you do see that quick tiles are having different colors altogether. That is a reason I have, you know, there is a reason for that. I have gone ahead and enabled the customization feature, which allows us to do that. You do have your brightness slider over here, your clock over here, which works on a quick touch and you have all the other quick tiles. Now if you go to the edit menu, you will see that you do have a ton of customization options like screen recorder, always on display, although this is a phone with a LCD panel. You have sleep screen. I don't really know what that means. You have ambient display, volume panel, smart pixels, CPU info, kill applications, weather, heads up, navigation bar, 
So you can go ahead and use all those features and it would be great if the developer can add the FPS info tile in the next update because that is really, really helpful. Oh, sleep screen means you can lock the phone. So that's something really, really neat. Who would be so lazy to not use the lock button anyways if you go to the screen recorder you have recording for internal and external audio you have the option of show stop dot lower quality for smaller files bigger file size limit all of that can be done and if you start the recording you will get a screen timer over here and the recording starts with a vibration and a notification sound right now i have the phone on silent that is the reason you did not hear the notification sound but this screen recorder is amazing because just look at the smoothness there is no ui stutter or jitter basically the phone doesn't even feel that it is recording the screen and that is what you want when you want to record your gameplay and you want to send it to others or upload it on youtube or social media so let's stop the screen recording here as you can see there you have it you can go ahead and share it and let's have a look at the quality of the screen recording Wow. So the recording quality is also pretty good. Now, apart from this, you have your quick app drawer with search apps option. But if you go to settings over here, you will see that this Web Edition Ancient OS settings menu looks way different than what a usual custom ROM would. So you have connections, sounds and vibration, notifications, Megalith Xi. Uh, I hope that means something in Chinese. You have display, themes, lock screen biometrics and security, privacy, location, apps, battery, account, backup, Google, general management and about phone. So under connection, you have a usual stuff, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and everything. Under sounds and vibration, you do have a ton of options over here. Let's see if we have something new that we don't have in the other custom ROMs. You do have your direct sound enhancer over here as well. So everything pretty usual here. You have controls over your notifications. You can enable or disable them and see all from last seven days so it gives you access to your notification history just like android 12 so that is something really really neat and then you have mega lit she interface quick settings status bar right so this right here is your customization menu and the first thing that you'll see over here how do you want to see the customization menu right have a look at it this 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 particular pattern of these big icons changed so let's actually go to interface again and let's change this to say animated backlist view card right and grid view this is how it comes out of the box right and then you can change it to something like this this is something i really really like so then you have the option of themes you can customize your usual stuff over here you have your monet engine which you can enable a lot of android 11 custom roms these days are enabling the monet wannabe or monet engine or monet lookalike sort of thing so that is something really really neat you have a ton of options to choose from when it comes to the font icon shape status bar icon so this interface option itself has a lot of customization as you can see status bar icon rounded nav bar icon switch appearance android s or ios let's have a look over here So, you know, it's pretty neat the amount of customization that is there in this particular ROM. Now, moving on, you can actually go to the next option, which is a status bar. That is where I have enabled the dual status bar and, you know, the analog clock over here, the weather over here, the different battery type icon, the date over here. And even after that, my top part of the screen, the status bar of the screen doesn't look you know congested or crumbled and that is something really really neat now over here as well you will see that you do have a ton of options and as always it doesn't make any sense for me to go ahead and cover each and every option because otherwise the video would be a 30 minute long video and i don't want to bore you guys up so then you have notifications in which you have a lot of customization as well apart from notifications you have quick settings gestures power menu navigation bar animations buttons battery and miscellaneous in which you do have your gaming mode right so this option basically notification danmaku means that transparent just the text will float around on your screen while you are playing games now that is really useful if you're not recording the game or live streaming using this particular phone because you can read your notifications without getting distracted from the game and that is something really really neat and the gaming mode has been working just fine for me you do see that 
I do have Battlegrounds Mobile India and Call of Duty enabled over here and you have some other customization as well. In fact, I like this ROM so much that I might even use it as a personal device and you know, go ahead and do a complete review. But more or less the dual status bar and the customization options in this particular ROM are pretty amazing and they work really, really great. Now, apart from this, you do have your display option, right? For which I did not have any issues at all. And biometrics and security, face lock, fingerprint unlock, everything is working great. Now, we come to the important part, battery life. The fast charging is working great. I've not really had any problem. You do have your additional options of smart cutoff. That means you can decide when the charger should stop charging the phone. Three hours back, I unplugged it from the charger and we have half an hour of screen on time. We are still at 91%. So, more or less, you do have thermal profiles over here benchmark gaming and stuff like that so that is something really really neat all in all as far as the battery backup is concerned and the charging speed is concerned there is a pretty solid rom and it works really really great now towards the end of this video we will of course go ahead and talk about the benchmark numbers and remember later there is definitely a gaming review coming on this rom so let's talk about the cpu throttle test first all right now, as you can see over here, the CPU throttled to 93% of its max performance and the average score has been 168,581 GIPS. Now, I know that is not the highest, but do see that in a 15 minute test, it did not throttle the CPU. Now, let's go ahead and quickly have a look at the Geekbench numbers over here. 756 single core, 2517 multi core. So pretty solid score there. And if you actually go to Antutu benchmark, you do have a decent score there as well. That is Phi Lac 2256 and these are the individual scores. So ancient OS, Vive Edition, official, although the initial build, you know, things like the safety net and Widevine L1 are working fine. You can install a Gcam or the ANX camera port and it should be working just fine. And if I decide to use this as a daily, that is what I will do. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this highly customizable, decently performing, good battery backup ROM. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.